Hi friends, I'm Anna Hellman and I have a question for you. Tell me the truth. How much paper do you have in your collection? Now, if you're just getting started with card making and paper crafting, maybe you don't have a lot, but some of us who've been doing this a while have like, like closets full, right? If we're being honest. So today's card projects are going to give you a great way to use up some of those papers in your collection. Uh, we're going to change them up a little bit, make them a little bit more exciting than just cutting a piece of paper and putting it on the background of your card. Some of these are also great ways to use up some paper scraps in your collection. And don't we love ideas for ways to use up scraps so that we can get one more use of that little piece that we know there's some potential for. Now, Father's Day is coming up and the samples I'll be showing are great cards for men. And we definitely wanna make sure the men in our lives know how much we appreciate them. So let's take a look at these cards. Let's get started. What we're going to do with these designer papers is take them and cut them into several different sections to create what I call panel cards. I had shared a panel card tutorial a while back and it's been a while and I know these were popular and I thought it would be fun today to create some different ones. So what I'm doing here, I'm gonna show you several different, we're gonna look at quite a few different card examples in this, in this video and the ones at the end are the absolute best. So I hope you'll stick around to see those. But what I'm gonna do is use several different pieces of paper, different sizes, cut them into diff more different sizes and create several different card designs with them. So this piece that I'm starting with right here, it measured four by four by five and a quarter when I started. I am going, I cut it in half at two inches and then I cut it in half again at two and five eighths inches. So as we go through, we'll just go ahead and create these cards one at a time so you can see how they come together. Now, I didn't keep track of which way these go together to make a little, make my pretty picture and be able to put it back together. So if you are using a paper, here we go, this is the way it goes. So if you're using a paper with a scene, it's so much fun to put these together and be, be able to see that scene, but see it cut apart. Now, if you are using just kind of a basic print paper, you can, you know what, you know what, let's spice this up a little bit. We're gonna turn some of these over. I was gonna say if you're using just a basic print, you don't really have to worry about matching it up because it can lay anyway. You want it to, and it won't really be noticeable that the pattern doesn't line up. But I wasn't planning on doing this, but we're gonna do a little improvising because it struck me that I should. And flip some of these over. Now this is where I was going to mention all the samples I'm showing today. I'm starting with a larger piece of paper that I cut from a fresh pack and I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. But like I said, you can create these out of paper scraps. So this card could be created out of four different four different prints if you wanted to use up some of your scraps. So the stamps and dies that I used on these cards to finish these, I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, they, I was having a lot of fun with this. I said we're, we're doing masculine theme cards, as you can see, and a few of them will be themed with fishing. Now what's nice about the set I'm using is you can definitely still use it even if you don't want the fish theme and, and we'll be looking at some ways you can do that. So here is panel card number one with those four panels. Now, if you want all these measurements, you can click in the video description below. It'll go to my website and I'll have the measurements for all of these cards that I'm creating. But isn't that super cute? I'll show you the bundle I'm using to decorate these. It's called Gone Fishing. And I found, I at first I thought like, oh, it's super cute for fishing. If you don't have any, but in your life who doesn't like to fish, I, well, I do love these greetings. Uh, that is one great use for it. But the die set, I, I wouldn't have really thought there was a great use for the die set if you didn't want to create fishing theme cards. Uh, but as I started creating with it, I discovered something that made me really excited and I'll share it here in a little bit. 
Okay, this next piece for this next card, it measures three and a quarter by four and a half. I am going to trim it into three pieces that measure one and a half inches wide. So one and a half by three and a quarter. Now I've already prepared my card base. I embossed it with the embossing folder that comes with this product suite and the paper pack. The paper pack I'm using is called Let's Go Fishing. Uh, you can get the whole thing as a product suite with this twisted rope embossing folder, which is pretty cool. And I'm curious if I'm only putting one strip of adhesive down the center of these but I'm using my Seal Plus, which is so strong. So if you think I am not putting enough adhesive on uh, this stuff, I think it could probably withstand a tornado. Let's get these three put on. This is a design I really like to use. Now, if you like these, but you want them to be a little bit more stepped up, what you can do is just cut Cut a mat to put behind, and that way you have an extra layer. Adds something a little bit extra. Now here I am going to use this tag right here and the stamp that says, so glad you're my dad. I don't know about you, but I don't have a ton of greetings in my collection that I feel like are appropriate for men. So when I see stamps like these, that they even, they look masculine, uh, I need some of those in my collection. Let's look at one more that we are going to cut and complete together. And then I have some more samples that I think you'll really enjoy seeing. So I wanted to demonstrate that the size paper you're starting with honestly doesn't really matter. Uh, let's say you don't really like doing math and you don't want to have to figure out, well, where's half of this piece and where's that? You can just start cutting. Uh, you could just cut a piece that's two inches and cut another piece that's two inches. And then you have two, two panels. Uh, you can cut pieces that are not the same size, which is totally okay. Uh, so I'll tell you the size of this paper, even though it doesn't matter. And you should, you should play around with just starting with a piece of paper and just cutting and seeing what happens. So this does measure four and a half, or, I'm sorry, four by four. And I want to show that really you can just cut and create these different different sizes and really it doesn't matter because they don't have to be a particular width. For these, I think I will stick with the print that is on this side. So I'll flip them all over to the back side. I'll run some adhesive across these strips. And I am thinking about all kinds of possibilities for how I could attach these in particular to my project. I could keep them even and in a straight line. I could make them a little bit up and down or jagged but I am, I am going to keep them straight, I think. And I don't know how much space I'm going to have. Normally I like to lay these things out, see how much space I have on each end. I'm not going to have that this time because I didn't lay it out. So it looks like we're going to have a little bit of extra space on the right end, which is totally fine. Nobody ever said that things have to be centered on our projects. Now, I have some pieces already prepared for this, and I love that this set has a retirement stamp in it. Even if you don't think someone is going to fish, I feel like the fishing theme is perfect for retirement, regardless of what people are going to do. But here I put the little lure and the bobber, and there's another fun panel card, another idea for ways you can use some of that pattern paper. And again, these could be different prints. They could all be scraps from your scrap collection if you want them to be. Now, as I was creating with the set, I, like I said, I made a few discoveries and one of them was, hey, I'm creating panel cards. What if I use this large die that has several sections? What if I use that and create 
kind of a different kind of a panel card. So I've used a piece of the printed paper. I did die cut that piece out of Fairy Vanilla and I thought it would be a great thing to use and just stamp in each of the areas, stamp something different in each of the areas. So since I'm sticking with this set, we'll stick with the fish theme and these greetings, but I think this would be perfect to stamp anything and it could be flowers, it could be balls for sports themes, it could be all kinds of things, but I am just going to fill in one stamped image into each of these areas and show you how this can make a fun, fun, quick and fun and simple panel card of a completely different type than what I set out to make in the first place, okay? So there is that one. Now, after I cut this out, this is where I made my discovery that, oh my gosh, this die set is really useful for uh, other things that are not fishing related. And it was when I removed this piece and saw those five scrap pieces laying there, like, whoa, those make perfect tags for cards. Now, here is one, I used the five and I made another panel card to show you an example of how you could do this. But if you, you probably already realize this, but as we went through, all of the tags I used on these cards were from, from the insides of this piece. So they were basically my trash, but they are not trash, they're a total treasure. And I have two more of them I'm going to show you on these last two cards that are my favorites, I think. So when I was thinking about making panel cards, I had just gotten this die set called Patchwork Pieces, and I thought this is like the coolest way to make panel cards right here. When you take a piece of paper or you can stamp something yourself and then run it through with one of these dies and it cuts it into some really unique shapes. So let's look at this one first. I did create several of these cards not fishing themed uh, because I know not everybody has a fisherman in their life. So this one I just wanted to look like water because I mean everybody likes water and can relate to water right? So and I love this print and this paper pack. So um, yeah, I just cut it into those wavy strips. I added the greeting down here and that was really easy to create. I love that the paper in our paper packs, the one side of all of these has something fishing themed and the other side is something more basic. So like these are the back sides. So if you don't need all the fishing paper, there are, there's always that backside with something a little more basic that can be used without a theme. And here's the last one. I love this fish print of this paper pack. I thought it would be perfect to use with that starburst, I guess I'll call it, uh, with that starburst die to cut it into strips. And then I just put one of those really simple tags on top that I stamped with the happy Father's Day greeting. So here you go, lots of different ideas for panel cards that you can cut with your designer papers and use them up, or uh, some other ideas for how to use this Gone Fishing Bundle. So thanks so much for watching along. If you're interested in any of these products, I really appreciate those of you who shop with me. You can find links in the video description below to take a look at them in my online store. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.